The last poem that I'm going to read is called What's Left, and I call it my middle age poem. Um, it's about the moment when you wake up and you realize there's not going to be time to do all the things you thought there was going to be time to do. And um, it's dedicated to Peter Hennessy, who was a neighbor and friend of mine and a fellow gardener. What's left? I used to wait for the flowers. My pleasure reposed on them. Now I like plants before they get to the blossom. Leafy ones, foxgloves, comfrey, delphiniums, fleshy tears of strong leaves pushing up into air grown daily lighter and more sheened with bright dust like the eyeshadow that tall young woman in the bookshop wears its shimmer and crumble on her white lids. The washing moves on the line the sparrows pull at the heaps of drying weeds that I've left around. Perhaps this is middle age, untidy, unfinished, knowing there'll never be time now to finish, liking the plants, their strong lives, not caring about flowers, sitting in weeds to write things down, look at things, watching the sway of shirts on the line, the cloth, filtering light. I know more or less how to live through my life now, but I want to know how to live what's left, with my eyes open and my hands open. I want to stand at the door in the rain, listening, sniffling, sniffing, gaping, fearful and joyous, like an idiot before God.